Hey friends, it's Annette with your Moment for Chronic Wellness. Thanks very much for watching. We are continuing our series on, you know, it's summer. People are going out and doing things. Maybe you'll get to be one of them. I hope that's true. So this is our travel series on how to best travel with chronic illness. And today I am exploring the topic of how to travel by plane. If you have not yet watched episode one of this, circle back and do that because that is where I address um, just general best practices for how to travel with chronic illness. And so um, that one will serve you well for however you are going. But I also um, have a couple of other ones about how to go by different methods, but this one is what if you are traveling by airplane? So the very first thing to do is um, if you are somebody who has needs, special needs that you um, could have somebody help you with or that the airline needs to be alerted to, then let them know that when you're purchasing your ticket or call in before the date of travel and let the airline know that you are someone who has special needs and they will flag that on your ticket and that will at the very least give you access to pre-boarding. Something that I would really encourage you to consider is the potential of having gate assistance. And gate assistance is the code word for having a wheelchair. The first time I had somebody push me through the airport in a wheelchair was a really humbling experience. Um, it is uncommon. And it is something that can really help preserve your energy on those already long, already exhausting days of travel. And particularly for those giant airports or those already close connections that you might be making on those travel days, it can be radically helpful. <laughs> so consider getting gate assistance, which also then pre-qualifies you for pre-boarding. Um, consider bringing along a few extra dollars, just $1 bills with you as you travel. Um, that will help you tip somebody who pushes you in a wheelchair or someone who helps you with your bags at the curb or on the plane. Um, if you are someone who, like me, uses oxygen at altitude, you have to let the airlines know that in advance and you need to make sure that your oxygen concentrator is a TSA cleared oxygen concentrator. Oftentimes they will want to have a copy of your doctor's prescription on file. You cannot travel with liquid oxygen tanks and so if you are traveling by plane you will need to um, have an oxygen provider in this destination you're traveling to in order to have liquid oxygen delivered to where you're going or get along with the oxygen concentrator that you're traveling with. Uh, planes are dirty places. Bring hand sanitizer, bring sanitizing wipes and just get on board and wipe down everything in your area. The seat back in front of you, that tray table, the arms, the seat belt, the lights and vents above you. As soon as they turn on the plane, they are recycling air. And so I wear a mask. The Oftentimes because of my headaches, I'm wearing a mask, I'm wearing my sunglasses. I look like the invisible man. So this is not a time to be proud. This is a time to take care of yourself whatever that means. Um, I have a friend who wears gloves. It's another good way to protect yourself and then you can just take them off as you leave the plane. The don't touch your face while you're wearing the gloves or you've just done away with the good of wearing the gloves, but it's another way to protect yourself. If circulation is a problem, um, planes are notoriously bad and sitting, uh, so consider wearing compression socks and as with any kind of long day of travel, prearranging your transportation at the following end, important. So if you don't have a friend or family member picking you up at the airport, go ahead and get that shuttle or taxi or 
Lyft or Uber ride pre-scheduled so that when you arrive already half exhausted and wondering if your bags made it too, you're not also having to then figure out your ride from the airport. All right, those are my best practices for traveling on a plane with chronic illness. I wonder what yours are. I'd love to know. So message me, email me, Facebook me, send up a flare, <laughs> however you can get me the message. I'd really love to hear from you. Thanks for your time and attention. And until the next time, thank you. Be well.